As a kid and as an adult, I have always loved back to school time. I love back to school shopping and getting all those new supplies in. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you all of the Erin Condren back to school items. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Jennifer, also known as Happy Place Planning. I'm glad you stopped by and I hope you enjoy today's video. So there's gonna be something for everyone in this launch and I am very excited to share all of the details with you. As you can see, there are a ton of items that were sent to me by Erin Condren. Um, Sam, if you're watching, thank you for sending this my way. Um, but I'm gonna put timestamps down below in case you just wanna see specific things and skip over others. I think what we'll do is at the end of the video, I will show you the books, the planners, and right maybe before or after that, we will look at all of the writing tools and do a pen testing, which means we will start with like the miscellaneous accessories. And we are gonna jump right in to one of my favorite items. This is a new item. It is the 18 by 12 repositionable whiteboard and notepad. This is in the neutral color scheme and is going to retail for $38. And there will also be a colorful version. Okay, so this is new, so I had to read the directions, and I'm gonna put this up here if you wanna pause the screen and read, but this is repositionable. So what you're going to do is peel off the back. Um, there is a film on the back, and you can save this so that if you wanna stick it somewhere else later, you can do that. So you're gonna wanna keep that film. This is a wet erase board. It kind of feels like a foam board with um, a laminate on top. That's how the best way I can describe that to you guys. And then this is actually um, a notepad that you can see there's a slit in the laminate. So you could refill um, this side section with your favorite Erin Condren um, notepads that are this size. And then over here, you have your Monday through Sunday with a spot for reminders as well. I thought this was a super fun new product. And of course, with the colors, it's just beautiful. This is a new version of their famous accordion zipper pouches. I have seen so many people use this. I have several that I use. This one is the smaller size and the colors on this one are the warm rainbow um, cool rainbow so there's going to be two different ones I guess I'm going to guess this is the warm rainbow based on the colors just guessing and they will retail for $16.50 they do have the gold hardware on this one and the colors are just gorgeous so if you are a fan of their accordion zipper pouches they have some new colors for you. Next up, we have their blush calculator. This is gonna retail for $14. And for my job as a special ed coordinator, um, I look at a lot of data and I do still use a very basic calculator on my desk almost every day. So this is gonna replace that for me, um, but it is battery powered. You can see you can change the battery when that runs out. Um, nice large buttons. And yeah, nice calculator for those of us who still need or like that option. We have a couple of new um, sticky pad, sticky notepad options. This is the This Week Self Care notepad, which will retail for $8. And if you watched or purchased the seasonal surprise box, um, this was an item that was in the summer box and is now going to be available for purchase um, on the website. Another sticky pad option that they're going to have launching is the weekly projects and exam sticky notepad and this one is also eight dollars so um, sticky notes post it so they're going to have a nice adhesive on the back a section up here for your weekly projects and exams you can write the date over here the title and then mark if it's a project or an exam and then on the bottom you're going to have a prep list and a room for notes thought that was super cute, a good um, 
for teachers. I could see teachers putting this down just so they can see what's coming up or obviously for students as well. Next up, gold bookmark ruler. This will retail for $12, but let's take a look at it outside of the pack. So obviously it is in a gold finish. I do not see anything on my info sheet saying if it's going to come in other metallic co colors other than the gold, um, but you can just slip this over your page and use it as a bookmark and then it functions as a ruler with five inches on one side and zero to 15 centimeters on the other. We have two new snap-in accessories, the snap-in school tracker dashboard for $7.50 and also the snap-in projects in an exam dashboard, but um, that one is $7.50 as well. Both of these are in the color blends theme. Um, this one is more of the traditional color blends that we've been seeing. This one is more of the teal to the beautiful blue color. And on this side, you have top priorities, and this does have a gold foil um, print on it, class assignments and due dates, a notes section, and then when you turn it over, you'll have your weekly calendar your long-term assignments, upcoming quizzes and tests, and next week. This is made for the seven by nine size books that they offer. So if you are a student using the academic planner, this is gonna work perfectly in that size of book. And then the projects and exams, the front has room for four projects. And this has a silver foil project class details, your deadline and important dates, and a place to mark it off when it's completed. And then you get three exams on the back, and then at the bottom, long-term assignments and upcoming exams. They are also offering another color blends accessory. These are the A5 ring agenda dividers. You get four tabs and this is gonna retail for $10. I did pull out my A5 agenda from Erin Condren just to show you how these are going to work. So you do get this set of four. They are a nice um, laminate cardboard material and you can just pop those right in to make your top dividers. And the set also comes with a set of labels. So you have the today label, lists, important, and notes. And then you also get eight blank tabs. So if those sections don't work for you, you could totally make your own and just pop those on the top of the tab. I did wanna just flip through them all to show you um, the beautiful color. So the first one is like a mauve pink. The next one is a peach down to kind of a coral pink color. Your next one is a blue down to like a sea foam color. And then your last one is lavender down to a lighter um, lavender color. Super pretty color blends, A5 tabs. They are also launching a functional sticker book. And I am so freaking excited to open this just because it says functional. So I can't wait to see all of the things inside, but you do get 630 colorful um, mixed metallic stickers. And this is going to retail for $15.50, but let's look at each page. So on this page, you get some icons, um, some appointment labels and some full square boxes. The next page has sort of a third box. I'm just eyeballing it here. Some larger squares with some payday stickers. So right away I'm seeing you could definitely use this as a back to school item like in your academic planner, but you could also use this just for personal planning um, in your Erin Condren life planners as well. Um, you have a tracker, some functional full boxes, and some checklists. These are gold foiled on that page. Then you're gonna jump into this one with the rose gold icons and some basic labels. And then this page is a transparent sticker, just circles, different colors there. Some more checklists and trackers. 
weekend and vacation stickers. These are super fun with the rounded tops. More trackers, appointments, basic labels, and silver or platinum icons. A couple of washi strips on this page. More appointment labels, so you could write the time and the label over here. Some washi strips, and that is the end of the new functional planner sticker book. And those are all of the basic accessories that I was sent. Let's take a look next at the books and then we will do some pen tests. This is their seven by nine, three subject notebook. This is going to retail for $24. You can pick some different covers. When you open it up, you have room to write your name and then it's gonna jump right in to the pages of the book. So you can see that it does have three different sections. So the purple tab has this artwork on it. Progress is impossible without change. The teal says what you do today can improve your, can improve all your tomorrows. And then this um, pinkish tab, if a plan doesn't work, change the plan, not the goal. So behind each tab, um, on the actual tabbed page, you're going to have this dashboard, which looks similar to what we're used to in the life planners, followed by several pages of lined note paper. And then that's going to repeat for your next two tabs. So you have your dashboard, lined pages, dashboard, lined pages. And then at the back of the book, you do get one sheet of their stickers. This of course has their wonderful 80 pound paper that we all know and love. And the next book is no different. This is one of their A5 sizes and it's bringing back all the feels. This actually has a plastic coil on it. How many of you remember when the life planners used to come on plastic instead of metal. But this is their young adult reading log and journal and it's going to retail for $15. It is in their A5 size and even though this is a plastic coil, they still come with interchangeable covers. So if you have other A5 covers in your stash, they're totally gonna work on this book. This page is a title page and it has your kids reading log, so many books, so little time. You're gonna open it up and there's an about me section, which I think is adorable. Your kid is going to have room to have their name, the age when they started the book, when they finished it, where they live, and a section that they can doodle or journal about themselves. On the opposite page here, we have top five favorite books, favorite book characters, favorite genres, authors, and favorite places to actually read. You're gonna turn the page and you're going to go into your reading goals section. So you have several sections here for your goal started, goal completed, what the reading goal is and what the reward will be for when you finish that goal. And you get two, four pages of those. And then you go into your first tab, which is the reading log. So on these reading log pages, you can see there's a column for the date, the book title, the author, and how many minutes they read. That's going to repeat for several pages with just the color changing at the top. And then you're going to get into your second tab, which is for book reviews. So you get to rate the book at the top, the date you started it and finished it, title, author, genre, how many pages, why you read this book, which I think is super important because as a teacher, I want students to read for fun, not just because a teacher is making them. So I like that section there. Reading level, if you would recommend the book to others, what the book was about, and then a spot for your favorite part of the book. You also have a space for your thoughts, quotes, or doodles. And that's going to repeat. Again, the colors will change, um, but several pages of those. And then you're gonna to get to your last tab, which is book lists. So these are a, a spot for you to list your favorite books ever. 
you have a title with the author for several pages. Again, the colors change. Let's get this book out of the way. And then at the back, you have a book I want to read list, again, with room for the book title and the author, and then you can check it off as you read it. And then the back of the book just has this quote, um, no stickers in this one, again, A5 sized. Um, this is geared towards kids, but I could totally see um, adults using this as well if you um, love to read. Next up, we are gonna take a look at their signature academic planner. I know a lot of you guys love these. I've reviewed these several years um, in a row. There might already be um, YouTube videos out as a review, but I decided I was going to go ahead and take a closer look since I have not personally seen these in my hands. Um, it is their academic planner and this one is in their color blends option. So when you open it up, you get your academic um, yearly overview with the gorgeous color blends color scheme at the top. You turn your page, you have your heritage and awareness um, observances, and then room for your class schedule. And I like this because a lot of schools are on semester, so you have room for first semester as well as second semester. And then you're gonna go into your monthly sections that will repeat throughout the book. You'll have a notes page opposite of the tabbed monthly page and the quotes and the colors will change again with that ombre color effect going from the top to the bottom of the page. August says a goal without a plan is just a wish. And then you open up to that classic Erin Condren um, monthly two page spread, Sunday start, Saturday end with room for notes. Turn the page and the dashboard on the academic planners looks like this. So you have room for your goals, events, and notes, and then all of your monthly projects and exams. And you're gonna turn your page and go right in to your weekly spreads with the academic planner layout. You have Monday through Wednesday on the left, Thursday through Sunday on the right, with Saturday and Sunday sharing a row. You have room on the left for columns, um, if you wanna list things, project or assignment details, and then a to-do list down the right-hand side. You're gonna get enough, and it is dated, so we're gonna go all the way through August and you will get enough pages for the month, followed by two lined notes pages, two more lined notes pages, and then this, um, I would say, goes with September based on the color of the logo up here. So then that's where everything's gonna repeat. You're gonna open up your monthly tab to the calendar page, your dashboard, your weekly pages, and then two, four pages of line notes on to the next month. I am going to show you all of the pages on here as far as the monthly tabs because they are just stunning. I hope the camera is picking up just how saturated and pretty these colors are. As you can see, this had an August start and also ends with August. Um, so then at the end of that month, you turn to the back, you have this beautiful color blends page with the quote, and then you also get a sheet of functional stickers with the exam, test, to read, study guide, no class, vacation, paper due, quiz, and midterm. Okay guys, that wraps up the books that I have to show you for this launch. That would be their academic planner their three section notepad and their student reading log. And now we get to do the fun part. I always love doing this, pen testing. 
I did grab my Erin Condren A5 notebook. This is just one of their lined note notebooks that I do all of my pen testing in. So you've probably seen some of those videos, but let's get um, a new page open and start going through all of the new writing utensils. I did want to point out a couple of things. Obviously, they are not retractable. They have the pop-off cap. You can see the ink color. I think they're beautifully designed, and you have a nice chisel tip on the end there, um, standard for typical highlighters, but they write very smooth, and then I don't think there's any shadowing or bleeding. No, none at all. So those are the four pack of square highlighter. Next up, super excited to try these. Color Changing Brush Pens. This is a six pack and will retail for $15.50. Um, the first one will go from gold to red, tangerine to gold, red to lemon, teal to kelly green, navy to blue, iris to fuchsia. Um, so then they have some ideas on how to use this. Um, DIY washi tape, create your own color changing washi. Priority pins, change the color once you complete a task. Planner pins, color code your calendar. Um, and then just obviously creative fun. So one end is going to show you the color of the brush and then what color it will change to. I had some of these um, when I was younger remember those maybe it's just me and then on the other end you have your color changing tip so let's go ahead and test out the rest of the colors really nice um, brush stroke side. I do not do brush lettering. I have a couple of brush pens in my stash and these seem very comparable um, to a standard brush ink pen. So I don't think if you'll have any issues if you are used to brush lettering and then maybe just a little bit of shadowing um, through there, but I do have a very heavy hand, so I always like to mention that. Next up, we have their standard magnetic ballpoint pen duo. I do prefer a gel ink pen. However, every once in a while, I get in the mood for a ballpoint pen, and I will say I always reach for the Erin Condren ones that I have in my stash. They are really nice for um, ballpoint ink pens, in my opinion. So both of these have a magnetic closure. Um, you have two different colors, but they do write in black ink. These um, next ones, the Rainbow Gel Duo, they do have a very um, minimal rainbow change to them as you write. They are gel ink, and these were another item that were in the summer seasonal surprise box and um, I've already used mine from my summer surprise box. But um, they do, you do have to kind of look closely um, at the ink. So here's the orange one. I'm trying to get the red tip off the end there. If you look closely, you can kind of see, plays tricks on your eyes but it does have a sort of um, rainbow effect and they are gel ink. Next up, we have their 10 pack of colorful fine liner pens. These are going to retail for $15.50 and I love it. They have the colors labeled so there's no guessing. And the nice thing is this converts to a stand. So if you wanna put them on your desk, um, it's going to be very easy to you know, grab the one that you want and write in your planner or your notebook.
let's talk a little bit about the actual ink pen. Again, not retractable, it does have a cap. They have a white barrel with the mid-century circles design in silver. There is a clear space on the barrel where you can see the color of the ink, white cap, and then obviously they write the color um, that you see. And I wanted to compare these to a marker that you guys are probably familiar with. I've seen a ton of people using these. I've been using this this week in my planner. This is the dual tip marker with a fine and the medium. And the only reason I'm pulling this out is because I usually use the fine side to write. And I would say that these new colorful fine liner pens have an even more fine line than the dual tip markers. And I'm gonna just do that with the fine side and then I'll do the medium side as well. I love the way these write on the Aaron Condren paper. So let's take a look. This is the new fine liner. These two lines are from the dual tip fine and medium side and then the ink colors are just gorgeous on those as well. And then a little bit of shadowing down here on the dual tip markers, but I don't see, you know, anything too bad up here on the colored version. So that is the pen test with the new writing accessory. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Um, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up so I know that you want to see these types of videos in the future. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for your view. And I wanted to let you know that these items will all be launching on July the 6th. So you can do your back to school shopping then. Thanks and I'll see you back next time.